What's up, Madden community? MT Squared, back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And today, I have a lineup update for you guys. This is a 98 overall Legends 40 out of 40 theme team. I completely revamped my entire squad, sold it off last week, went on vacation for five days across the country, and just bought back my team with a lot of upgrades from the Ultimate Legends promo. I built this team with quite a few non-Legends players also because I really wanted to take advantage of the discounted abilities available in the game. We have reached a whole new level of discounted abilities and you're insane to not take advantage of them. So in this video, I'm going to show you in detail my squad and the abilities I chose for everyone. Real quick though, I am still a small time Madden YouTuber and a fan of the FTA theory or for the algorithm. Basically means every like, comment, and subscribe from this video. The more viewers like yourself, this video gets pushed out to. So if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos and turn that notification bell on so you can be alerted of when I drop new content. We're going to set a like goal of 50 on this video. Greatly appreciate the support. As you can see, this is a God Squad of God Squads. This is a Legends 41 out of 40 theme team. So we have quite a few players that getting that plus 2 to strength, jumping, and agility, and plus 1 to acceleration and speed. We do have, it looks like, a couple fillers on the offense here. Three fillers, Austin Corbett, Jason Kelsey, and Scary Terry Terry McLaurin as non-Legends players. For our offensive line, we have Gary Zimmerman at left tackle, Austin Corbett at left guard. He is a right guard, gets left guard as a secondary position. That is a 97 overall card from the Gridiron Guardians 2 promo. Jason Kelsey at center, Marshall Yonda at right guard, and Willie Anderson at right tackle. All five of these players get secure protector for one ability point. That was something I definitely wanted to get on all of my players, either that or the edge protector ability. And I've also got Nasty Streak on three of my players also. They get that for zero AP. Zimmerman, Corbett, and also Marsha Yonda get that. I've got Post Up on my center for zero AP, Jason Kelsey. And then we've also got the Matador ability on Willie Anderson. Unfortunately, he didn't get any other really great zero AP abilities. And Threat Detector for one AP. I wanted to try Try to get that into the squad also. For our quarterback situation, we do have Tom Brady, and I'm going to show you his stats here real quick. 92 speed, 97 throw power, 99 short accuracy, 98 medium, 98 deep, 99 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and 98 play action. He has the gunslinger ability baked on for 0 AP, set feet lead for 2 AP, and hot route master for 1 AP. We've got the Omaha X Factor on him. I've been using Tom Brady pretty much since he first came out. I used him for a day or so, and then I sold him for like a million more than I bought him for. And then I got him for free from that MCS championship, like 96 plus overall pack or whatever that we got. A lot of people got Tom Brady, I feel like, for that pack. And I was lucky enough to get him as well. So that is a free card. At running back, we have the new Bo Jackson. Just came out this past weekend. He gets goal line back for zero AP. You could also put short in elite for zero AP. And I may switch to that if I don't find that this is useful. But he has 98 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 agility, 93 carry. 89 catch, 96 change of direction, 98 truck, and 97 break tackle. For our wide receivers, we have the new 6'8", Harold Carmichael as our wide receiver 1. 97 speed, 99 jump, 97 catch, 97 catch in traffic, 97 spec catch, 99 short route running, 97 medium, and 98 deep. I do have the route tree legendary goal strategy card that gives plus 5 to short route running and plus 2 to medium and plus 2 to deep. For abilities, he gets deep in elite for 0 AP and deep out elite for 1 ability point. I've also got the double the X-Factor on him. At wide receiver 2, we have AJ Green's Tribute card. He has 97 speed, 99 jump, 98 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 98 spec catch, 99 short route riding, 99 meme, and 98 deep route riding. He is six foot four, so I have two tall receivers, which is nice. For abilities, I have Red Zone Threat for 0 AP. You could put Route Tech for 0 AP if you wanted also. Short Out Elite for 0 AP I feel like is not worth it compared to the other two. And then Wide Receiver Apprentice, I've already got Hot Route Masters. Obviously, I do do not need that. For our wide receiver three, we have Scary Terry, Terry McLaurin. He gets the deep out elite ability for zero AP and short in elite for one AP. He also gets this max security Scary Terry for zero AP. That starts the game with the max security X factor on there. So that's high success rate on possession catches. That was something actually that was suggested in one of my videos. One of you guys had said that, especially with all of the KO abilities. That's definitely something that is very useful. Scary Terry has 97 speed, 92 jump, 90 
97 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 97 spec catch, 99 short, 96 medium, and 99 deep route running. He is six feet tall, so he is my shortest wide receiver, so he will be my slot receiver. At tight end, we have Gronk. I got his 98 overall card probably about like two or three weeks ago now at this point. He does get short in elite for zero AP and deep out elite for one AP. He also has this Gronk hype man motivator, which gives plus one to tackling, jumping, run block power, run block finesse, pass block power, pass block finesse, and throw under pressure to all of your players. For stats, he's got 96 speed, 98 straight, 99 catch, 98 catch in traffic, 98 spec catch, 99 short route running, 96 medium, and 97 run blocking. He's six foot six. At fullback, we've got Mike Allstott. Nothing crazy there. And they really need to upgrade the team captains because the 94 overall team captains are not even really usable at this point in the game anymore, unless if you're running more of a budget-friendly option. So hopefully the team captains get an upgrade soon. So on the offense, we have secure protector on all five of our lines. Diamond, nasty streak on three of them, posed up on our center, and we've got threat detector. For our three starting wide receivers and tight end, we have three deep out elites, two short in elites, one deep in elite, one red zone threat. That doesn't even include Anquan Bolden and Warwick Dunn, who both get short in elite for zero AP, and Delaney Walker, who gets a red zone threat for zero AP if I need that. Our QB gets gunslinger, set feet lead, and hot route master for a combined three AP. Not sure there's a better combination of abilities, but let me know if you think you've got a better combo. And I just realized Realize Scary Terry's X Factor is not on, so we're going to put that on real quick. And there's some sort of bug. I'm probably just going to take somebody out of my lineup. I will do that later. Let's go take a look at our defense. So I was very specific on the players that I wanted to choose on defense based off of their abilities that they got. Same thing like the offense, especially with the corners. So my corner, one, two, and three are the only three cornerbacks in the game at this point right now that can get two man KO abilities for one AP each. So Patrick Sertan, Jalen Watson, and Charles Tillman. As you can see, I have quite a few non-Legends players here on the defense with Sertan, Watson, and Sauce Gardner also as our cornerback for who will see every play. He only can get one KO ability, so that's why he didn't make the cut for the top three. Taking a look at Patrick Sertan, he gets the deep route KO ability for one AP, also short route for one AP. You could put medium route for one AP. I wanted a little bit of variance, so I chose short route and deep route KO, and then and he gets pick artist for zero AP. He also gets this shutdown PS2 X factor, which starts the game with that on there. That is one AP, so you do have to spend some ability points if you decide you want to do that. For stats, he's got 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 92 agility, 98 jump, 92 play rec, 99 man, 98 zone, and 99 press. I do have the slot apprentice legendary gold strategy card, which gives plus three to man coverage zone and plus two to press. He is six foot two, so has some decent height to him. All three of my top corners have some height. They're all six foot two, and Soft Gardner is six foot three, which is cool. For our cornerback number two, we have Jalen Watson, who gets the medium route KO ability for one AP and deep route KO for one AP and pick artist for zero AP. And actually, correction, I mentioned that these three are the only three corners that can get two KO abilities for one AP. They're the only three that can get those two KO abilities and get pick artists for zero AP at the same time. I've also got the shutdown X factor on him. For stats, he has 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 94 agility, 98 jump, 91 play rec, 99 man, 97 zone, and 99 press. He is also six foot two. At cornerback number three, we have Charles Tillman, and he is going to play the slot for me because he has the highest block shed out of my corners. He has a 90 block shed. He gets short route KO for 1 AP and deep route KO for 1 AP as well. For stats, he's got 97 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 agility, 99 jump, 92 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. That is nuts. At cornerback number four, and he's actually going to play my deep safety role. He gets pick artists for 0 AP here. And for stats, he's got 97 speed, 98 acceleration, 98 agility, 99 jump, 90 play rec, 99 man, 98 zone, and 98 press. He is six foot three. I've also got Calvin Johnson as our cornerback. Five, six foot five gets pick artists for zero AP. So in any prevent situations, he will definitely be in the game. Julius Peppers is my free safety one, but he's actually not going to see the field except in those prevent situations as well. Or if I decide to switch to a heavy zone coverage scheme, depending on what my opponent is doing. But I have him listed as my free safety one because Ed Reed is one of my sub linebackers. He's actually going to be the computer controlled sub linebacker because of his man coverage 
and because I want to have him lined up on the running back as much as possible because of his height. He's only 5'11", but he gets pick artists for 0 AP and medium route KO for 1 AP. So basically, I'm just going to quickly substitute Sauce Gardner in for Julius Peppers each game. That's the only substitution I'm going to have to make, which is kind of nice. Looking at Ed Reed's stats, again, he gets a medium route KO for 1 AP and a pick artist for 0 AP. And then he's got 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 79 tackling, 95 play rec, 94 pursuit, 99 man, 99 zone, and 95 hit power. That was a free card that you get when you reach level 41 on your season three field pass. We've got Nolan Cromwell, who will be in man coverage also lined up at strong safety. He has the medium route KO ability for 1 AP and pick artist for 0 AP. And he's got 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 88 tackling, 94 play rec, 97 pursuit, 99 man, 99 zone, and 96 hit power. He is 6 foot 1. For our strong safety 2, and he is a free safety, a 96 overall card. Gets downgraded to a 93 when you have him out of position, but he does get that as a secondary position. This will be my primary user, Tariq Woolen. Gets pick artist for 0 AP. He is 6 foot 4. 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 77 tackling 97 play rec 88 pursuit 99 man 99 zone and 97 hit power our primary edge rusher is going to be the new ultimate legend charles haley he gets double or nothing for zero ap you could also put the edge threat elite for one ap i would recommend doing that if you can find the ability points to do that i was not able to unfortunately i may take the shutdown x factor off of patrick sertan and put that ability on charles haley but we'll see how that x factor works he's got 94 speed 98 acceleration 99 strength, 97 tackling, 96 play rec, 96 block shed, 96 power move, and 96 finesse move. For our other edge rusher, we have Aaron Donald, 96 overall LTD from the playoffs promo. Only going for like 450k right now. Lots of left ends and right ends have been coming out in the game. He gets El Toro for 0 AP and double or nothing for 1 AP. And he's got 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 96 strength, 93 tackling, 91 play rec, 96 block shed, 96 power move, and 95 finesse move. I know quite a few cards have been coming out since he came out, but Aaron Donald is always going to play well. He always gets quick sheds. We've also got Frank Clark, and I would have liked a little bit faster of a defensive end to play on the interior. He will be one of my interior pass rushers, but he gets the defensive rally for zero AP and then double or nothing for one AP. He's one of the few cards in the game where you can put both abilities on the same card for one total AP. And I really like the defensive rally ability because of the fact that I use double or nothing on all of my defensive linemen. This gives an extra pass rush point to all linemen on third and fourth down. So it keeps up your pass rush points, which is nice. He's got 90 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 strength, 97 tackling, 93 play rec, 97 block shed, 97 power move, and 91 finesse. Nest move. Our other interior lineman is going to be Haloti Nata. New Ultimate Legends card that gets inside stuff for zero AP. That is nuts. You could also put the Flater or Demoralizer, but I feel like inside stuff is definitely the way to go. He gets double or nothing for one AP as well. 86 speed, 96 acceleration, 99 strength, 95 tackling, 97 play rec, 97 block shed, 97 power move, and 83 finesse move. He is six foot four, 340 pounds. He is a monster. And that's the starting defense. We've also got Darnell Dockett who gets the goal line stuff for zero AP. John Randall, when you have his power up and all the pieces in there. He gets goal line stuff for 0 AP as well. I doubt Saragusa is ever going to see the field. I have Lurker on a bunch of linebackers. Bill Romanowski also gets that and goal line stuff for 0 AP when you have his power up and all the pieces in him. Kevin Green gets Lurker for 0 AP. Dre Greenlaw gets Lurker for 0 AP. Willie Anderson gets out my way for his out of position middle linebacker card for 0 AP. Willie Lanier gets Lurker for 0 AP. So we have a lot of options if I need to put a linebacker in like a situation where they're on as an edge rusher and actually going out in zone coverage or whatever it is that I need to do to mix up my coverage. I do like to mix it up with man and zone. I do run a heavy man defensive scheme, as you can see, but I do incorporate quite a bit of zone coverage in there as well. So on the defense, we have nine pick artists. Every single one of our defensive backs gets that for zero AP. Between our five defensive backs who will primarily be in man coverage, there is a total of eight man KO abilities. Three deeps, three mediums, and two shorts. We've got double or nothing on all four of our primary defensive linemen. Defensive rally to help us with the pass rush points on third and fourth down. Goal line stuff on three of our DTs, plus one on the middle linebacker in case we need it. Lurker on five of our linebackers if I need to put any of them in coverage. As far as man coverage goes, not sure there's a better setup on defense for abilities, but let me know what you've got if you think you do. On special teams, we got the Scottish Hammer as our punter, Justin Tucker as our kicker. 
And specialists, I pretty much already went over this, but we've got Ed Reed and Tariq Woolen as our sub linebackers, Aaron Donald and Charles Haley as our edge rushers, Haloti Nada and Frank Clark as our rush defensive tackles, Charles Tillman in the slot, Gary Terry as our slot wide receiver. Strategy cards, I've got the Route Tree Legendary Gold Strategy Card, which gives plus five to short route running, plus two to medium, and plus two to deep route running. For defensive strategy card, I've got Slot Specialist, which gives plus three to zone coverage, plus three to man, plus two to press, and plus one to tackle. We've also got that Super Bowl ring strategy card, which gives plus two to catching, tackling, impact blocking, and plus one to strength for all of our players. That is not a card you can buy. I did a video a few weeks ago on how you can get that. Definitely check that if you haven't already. And I just threw in the Broncos gold legendary strategy card because I already had it actually. That makes it so Patrick Sertan gets some extra boost to impact blocking, catching, awareness, throw power, and acceleration. And that is my new team. Let me know what you guys think of this team. I played a couple games with it last night. Offense was sick, and the defense has so much versatility, which is nice. But that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.